Because I've been in my childhood bedroom most of my life, I've got no stuff, got no furniture. The amount of aunties and uncles trying to lump shit, coffee tables, mugs. Everyone's got a bloody mug to give you. I got a mug from my auntie which has got a motivational quote on it, and I hate a motivational quote. The quote is, you've got the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce. <laughs> but not the resources, Janet. <laughs> So Peter said, that's bollocks, isn't it? And he went, yeah, so did Rose West. See how that turned out. I was like, <laughs> that wasn't my issue with the mug, but you go for it, darling. <laughs> I've become a bit obsessed with TAP because I'm on my local sell and swap Facebook group. If you're not on yours, there will be one in your local area. Have a look at it after the show. What it is, if you're not familiar with the sell and swap concept, it's people with nothing to do with their lives <laughs> trying to sell and swap utter shit that they found <laughs> Houses. There was a woman on there the other day. She wanted to swap these sausages. <laughs> she bought some cauldron vegetarian sausages. She realised they weren't vegan. She wanted to swap them for a bag of fruit, e.g. plums. I know what fruit is. <laughs> I don't need an example. What is this fruit? <laughs> some of the shit you get on here. Wooden snail. Right. <laughs> Four comments. Who's looking at that going, I need more information. What is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Unusual unglazed vase. You say unusual. I think someone's wrapped some ham round itself. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> this one's it's horrible, that, isn't it? Horrible. Uh, this one's particularly batshit. This is um, I'll zoom in on this one. About 120 adult DVDs can easily sell for a pound each, so good profit. Open your boot at work and let the lads dive in. <laughs> Look at them just on the side next to the kettle. Horrible. Of course I'm trolling this group, of course I am, with my character Christopher Butterslip. There he is. <laughs> That's a drawing I did of Mickey Flanagan. They didn't go very well. <laughs> done a lot of good work with Christopher. I'm very proud of the work I've done with Christopher. First thing I did, there was a girl. She was selling a Jean-Paul Sartre book for four pounds. She'd used it in her dissertation. She needed it no longer. She put it on the sell and swap. I got in touch with Christopher. I said, just out of curiosity, could you take a picture of the first page? And because she had nothing to do with her day, within minutes, a picture emerged on the group. So then I put, and now the second page. <laughs> I got to five pages before she realised I was trying to read the book through the pictures. <laughs> Oh, this one was good fun. Little Sammy's grown out of these ocean pals. I've also got about four copies of the Gruffalo, looking to swap for something a bit more grown-up, she said. <laughs> no, some of you are further along here. <laughs> I suggested knives and saws. That's what I suggested. <laughs> a nice selection of knives and saws. <laughs> she put, ha, not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> about it for a little while. Is that... Oh, I've got some adult DVDs. Let the lads dive in. <laughs> Favourite thing I've done on the sell and swap, it's pathetic, this. I set myself up for a joke. I listed my own thing. I listed a bag of butter mints for one pound. Christopher Butterslip, bag of butter mints, one pound. Logged out, logged in as me, Joe Lysick, commented, what condition are these in? Log back out, in as Christopher Butterslip, mint condition. Very happy with that. <laughs>